Hey everyone, today I have a part two for a video that I filmed almost three years ago, and that is my impressions and review of the vegan Doc Martens. I wanted to film this video now, it kind of popped into my head, because I actually got these around Christmas time three years ago, um, and I filmed the video in March but I had already been wearing them for three months. So that was kind of my initial impressions on getting them, on wearing them for a little bit of time, breaking them in and whatnot. So this is actually me having these boots for three years. And I'm kind of interested in letting you guys know how they have held up, my experience that with them so far, if my kind of thoughts on them have changed. Um, if you haven't seen my initial video on getting these boots for the first time and my first kind of thoughts on them. I'll link that down below if you wanna check that out. But today's just gonna to be about how it is after three years. One thing that I mentioned in that video is how hard I am on my shoes. I always have been, I'm very heavy on my heels when I walk, I'm just heavy footed. Like if you can hear somebody walking down the hallway before you see them, that's me, I'm really heavy on my feet. I'm really grateful I don't have downstairs neighbors. So <laughs> very heavy on my feet and I go through shoes really quickly. Like even for example, I got a pair of snow boots last year because I live somewhere where it snows and it's good to have snow boots, especially when I'm taking my dog out at night. I just want something easy to slip on and off. And the boots that I got already are broken. And this is kind of from repeated use. I am one of those people that like uses my heel to take my shoes off, which I know is a bad habit, but I was doing it so much and so consistently that the heel on one of the boots just completely detached from the rest of the shoe. So that's just one example. I do go through shoes really fast and that's why I wanted to get docs and I wanted to invest a little bit more in shoes that are known to last. So many people say that docs last for a decade, whatever. And I wanted that, but I also wanted them to be vegetarian or like vegan because I'm vegetarian, I still am. And I wasn't sure if I would experience that same amount of longevity be with the vegan ones because essentially it is like plastic, it's not animal products. And I was just wondering how the quality would be, if it would look the same, if it would last the same. I was kind of laughing when I was rewatching my video because I haven't obviously seen it since I edited it and posted it. But I definitely had some strong feelings when it came to the price and how I didn't really see the justification on how you can charge the same amount for something that is not an animal product versus something that is leather because, you know, at least in my experience, I was always told that if something is real leather, it's gonna be more expensive. Versus if it's not, it's less expensive to manufacture. I definitely feel like I see things differently now that I've worn them for some time. And also just recognizing that it was kind of just like thoughts coming out and no real like understanding on the process of how they were made. Um, it was just purely speculative, I guess, thinking that it would cost less to make them versus the real leather. So basically what I'm saying is, my thoughts have definitely changed a lot since my first video. Um, and I just wanna show you how they've held up. So let me just grab them and show you. This is what they look like after almost three years of wear. And I did change the um, laces. They are a little thicker. The ones that came with them are so thin and they were terrible. So I did switch them out, but I've only switched them out once Compared to other shoes that I've had, like like I've said, I used to purchase combat boots every single year and I would just go through them so fast and they would start to look really raggedy and not nice. They would lose their shape. Um, these have kept their shape really, really well. You do see creasing obviously back here. This is where I put my foot in and I get a lot of movement around my ankle. There's definitely like a crease that is almost looking like it's about to turn into a crack. And I wonder if in this situation it would be best to use that Wonder Balsam or the Dubbin just to hydrate it a little bit. Again, I don't really know if you need to hydrate these. It's not real leather. It's vegan leather. Um, but that's really the only concerning part of it. Like after, oops, and I have dog hair all over it. I'm sorry. Don't mind my dog hair. I have a German Shepherd and she sheds everywhere. I don't know how her hair got connected to my shoe. It's like in my shoe. But there it is. If you wanted to see the other one, here's the other one. They're basically the same, but I didn't clean these off before this video. I want to show you what it literally looks like. I usually walk around with my shoes looking like this. 
I'm very rough on my shoes. I'll clean them off. If it's like covered with salt, I will rinse them off um, pretty much every day. I just don't want salt buildup on my shoes. But if it's just like a little scuffs, like I have some scuffs on there, I don't really care. I mean, you can see that crease again here is pretty significant, but I don't really mind that much. Like you don't really notice it, I feel like. They held up their shape really well. And I do wanna say I wear these basically every single day during like the fall, winter, spring. I know maybe some people who want their shoes to be pristine might think that my shoes look really not good and I should swap them out. But for somebody like me, like I know I beat up my shoes really badly. That's the one piece of clothing I can't keep as shoes. Um, I would say that they have held up very well. In terms of comfort, I love them. They fit my feet absolutely perfectly. It was actually kind of funny re-watching my first video because I was talking about how they were really tight in the beginning, especially on the tops of my feet. I really couldn't tie it, tie the laces like super tight. It was kind of farther apart. I have really wide feet, um, but now over time they have stretched a little bit, which is really interesting to me. I would love to know how this material is like stretching because it's not a leather. Like I said, it's a vegan material but it has stretched and when I tie them up, they like almost touch now between where the laces are, which I like so much more. I hate when there's a huge space because my feet are just so wide, but this one, because I can tie them nice and tight, I feel like they look so much better. So I guess it kind of comes down to why you clicked on this video in the first place. Maybe you're somebody who wants that iconic Doc Martin look, but you don't want the real leather and you're just trying to figure out if the vegan ones are basically a piece of crap because they're vegan and they're not real leather. I can tell you, I have found that I don't think that they're a piece of crap. I think they're actually pretty good. They've lasted really well for me, better than any boot that I have worn. I don't have any experience with other vegan shoes or vegan boots. So I would definitely recommend looking into some others, watching other people's videos about boots that they have, maybe see their wear over time, just if you're trying to kind of play out the field. But if you're somebody that really likes Doc Martens, you like that look, it's almost like Vans. Like if you want a pair of Vans, you want them because they're Vans. They have the little logo on the side. You can tell they're Vans. It's kind of just like that. Sometimes you just want something because it's that brand. And I, I don't care, some people might think that that's really shallow, but I know there's some of you out there who might be thinking like, yeah, I, I kind of just like the way Doc Martens look because they're Doc Martens, it has that signature yellow stitching and, and you could just tell it's a Doc Martin. And I know that there's some of you out there who feel that way. So if that's you, you're kind of in that boat, but you just don't want to kind of make that leap and get them because it's an animal byproduct, you'd rather do something vegan, I would totally say, give it a try because I personally found them to be really nice over these past three years and I think they work out great. But another option is if you, again, are somebody who wants Doc Martens specifically, but you don't want one that, you don't want to purchase one that is leather, look into getting a secondhand Doc Martin. Let me know your thoughts on all of this. Um, I know my thoughts have definitely changed over time. I feel like when you start anything new, like for me when I was a vegetarian and I was just kind of starting, I wasn't even vegetarian, I went full vegan. And I feel like when you're new into something and you're just kind of learning about it and you're putting a lot of time and energy into learning about something, I feel like it almost makes you not extremist, but like, you're almost more aware about things and you're more rigid about rules with yourself versus just doing what feels natural and what feels right for you because you're just absorbing everything. And there's people telling you that you shouldn't be doing things or things aren't right or maybe it shouldn't be right or people will judge you if you're a certain way. And I just wanna say, especially with like the vegan police out there, don't let anybody judge you for your own decisions. At the end of the day, do what's best for you. If you want vegan shoes from Doc Martens, even though they make leather products, buy them. If you wanna buy secondhand because it makes you feel better, buy them. If you watch this and you're like, you know what, screw it, I just wanna buy leather brand new, buy it. There's just enough shit in this world to be worried about other than a pair of shoes. So take the stress out of it, do whatever feels right and best for you and I'll get off my soapbox now. That is it for today's video. Hope you guys have a great night and I will see you in my next one. Bye.